Hello, my name's uh, Josh Doughty and um, I've been playing the Cora for around 23 years now and um, this whole time I've always had requests from people um, to make a video about kind of techniques on kind of things that I find useful to focus on and, and things that kind of make a difference to my playing and things that I've been taught by some of my teachers along the way so I thought I'd just make a kind of quick little tutorial and kind of explain it to you how I see it and the first thing is the way that you hold the instrument and I think that's quite important is that a lot of people when they start playing they kind of they do this and they put their thumbs and their their fingers at the same kind of level and it becomes so when you start to move fast it kind of becomes very unnatural feeling after a while and so the technique that you'll notice most chord players using is the thumbs are up like that and the fingers are down. I'm kind of exaggerating it here, but it's kind of like that. So the thumbs... And then the, and the fingers are pointing down like that, you can kind of get this... It helps with the fast... If you up here, it's, far, it's harder to do the fast... It's that kind of like swinging motion that creates the fast... And your whole hand is moving, so you're not just you're not holding on tightly to the stick here. You're kind of loosely holding on to the stick here. Obviously, I've got it in a stand now, um, but even if you're playing it on your on your lap, you still want to hold it quite loosely, just kind of holding it there, and then so you've got movement like that. Okay, so the first kind of exercise that I do regularly is one that I was actually taught by um, Trumani when I was studying um, there in like 2007, I think it was. So the first thing I spent maybe one week just doing this combination of scales. So basically the first one is just coming down from the highest note on the right hand side, so which, is, which is the A up here. So you come down three, one, two, three on the right side, and then you go left, right, left, right, down. And I think of it as like walking down a flight of stairs. So it's like left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, and you get down to about here, and you I was told that you can change wherever you like. I change around here the F or the G. So bit of G and then you change to the thumb. And you get to this one, the last one on the right side go down on the left side to finish off the four, finish on the low F. Okay. So this chord has an extra has a twenty second string here. So you just ignore that one for now. So this is I don't know if you can quite see it, but this is the the lowest note on the right hand side, which is an F. And this is an F. So I do it again. So that's one. And then the second one is you come down, instead of coming down just three on the right hand side, you come down four, all the way to the D. Okay, and then on the left hand side, you do come down two. Okay, and on the right hand side, you come down two again from the D. So you, you move down from the last one you played on that side, okay, so four, one, two, one, two. Okay, so if it's not clear, just try it, keep trying it until you get the same sound that I'm getting. So basically you're just coming down two on, on the right side down two on the left side and then you go back up one like that okay so I'll do it again one more time from the top and the same here you just kind of go all the way down on the right hand side when you run out of ones on the on the right hand side you just come down the left hand side 
So that's number two. So we're going to try number three now. So number three, again, is the same idea. So if you come down, instead of coming down four this time, you come down five. So you come all the way down to the B. So. Okay, that one down to that one. And then we go down three on the left hand side. And then three on the right hand side. Same thing applies every time. When you run out of ones on the right hand side, you just go down on the left hand side until you finish. Okay, so I'll do that one more time. Like that. So that's free. So that's the whole set. So you start, I'll do one set. So. I was told uh, when I was learning to try and do that 10 times, so a set 10 times, without hitting one wrong note. If you hit one wrong note, you go back to number one. I think it took me a week of trying every day to eventually be able to do it one whole set without hitting one wrong note. And you want to try and get faster and faster. The exercise is try and get as fast as you can. So I'll just try and do one a bit faster for you. So it's been a while since I've been doing this, so I'll try again. Okay, so the other kind of technique that's used a lot in choral playing, and I really think it's really worth trying to practice when it's doing a stopped note, okay? So, like this, because you use that all the time. Okay, so it's really, it's, there's a few different ways of doing it. So one is where you come off the string and then you just come directly back on the same place you came off. Okay, and the other one is if you come off and then you stop it with the other side of your ha finger, like that. There's one movement, and so the further you come away, like that, the harder, the slower it is to stop it. You want to just kind of do one. Okay, so that's more useful. The one way you use the back of your nail is more useful when you're coming down the scale. So. Okay, and the other one when you're going back up. So the other one you can do with that is where you stop one and release the other. So you go. used a lot as well so we're starting start on the on the right side uh, number three so the F yeah and then on the left side number one okay and we play them the same time but the left we stop it but the right one we leave it open so like that okay and then the right finger comes down one to number four and we do the same so we stop the right side and let the left go so do that again Okay, then the left finger comes down one, and this time it's the same again, but you stop the left again. And then move down one on the right side. So one way of thinking of it, the one that always moves down is the one that stops. So, sorry, so it's, that one moves down. Important 
want to do. It's quite tricky, that one. It takes a while to get used to it. So the other one is the the um, run down the scales in three, so. Which you hear a lot. Okay, and what that is, if you're, let's say we start on the F here on the right side, so number three, we come down three in the scale. So right, left, right. So number three on the right, number one on the left, and then number four on the right. Okay, one, two, three. Then we go to number one on the left, and then number four on the right, and number two on the left. So that's so. Like that. Then you just continue on down in the same pattern. So each time just moving down one string. So then you can reverse it and go up the other way. So starting from the bottom here with the fingers and the F here, which is number one, we go. So. So another really important exercise is doing the scales but with an octave. Okay, so your finger is playing one octave and your thumb is playing the other octave at the same time. So like this, I'll play it for you. And it's so important because you're always Kind of using that in so many pieces so it's really important to have those downs so you don't have to think about it okay so what we're doing essentially we're just doing a seven note scale like that so starting on um the f on the right side of the highest number three we just come down the scale down to that one which is the f so you go from f to f f f f f to there Okay, but then what we're going to do, we can play at the same time. See, so here it's the same, it's the octave lower. So the hub is to get doing those at the same time. So how we start, so playing number three here on the right side. Okay, and then on the left side, playing the octave here. So that is from the top up here, it's the fourth one, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're playing with the thumb. Okay, then we go to play this, the next octave, which is on this side. It's similar, but the thumb's much further down this time. So you play number one here on the left finger, and then from the lowest note up, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's also an E. So we go. Okay, one thing with this is really important to keep your thumbs in the area of where you're playing, because what people often do is they go, they pluck it, and then I'll move it away, and then I'll move it away like that. And then it's, you've got to try and find your position again, and that slows you right down. So if you just hold like that. So you just go back and forth between those two, start off with, that's the best, so it finds it easy. And then you come down. Okay, so the, the right finger is now on number four, and the left thumb is now on number five from the from the top. Yeah. So it's okay, and then again, this one you come down. So the left finger is on number two this time, and then the right thumb is from the bottom, number three. So so again. Okay, so then you come all the way down until you run out of ones on this side. So you've got. Side, you've got you're playing four. One, two, three, four, that one. So all together. So first you just practice coming down. Okay, this is as a beginner this is really difficult. So 
takes a lot of time, so don't be frustrated if you can't do it right away. And then when you've got that, you can go back up. If you listen, you'll know when it's not right. You'll hear the wrong note going out. But this is one of the most most important exercises, I think, um, when learning how to play the chorus. So I'm just to show you one last technique, which is stopping the thumbs. Okay, so this it's really tricky to get this one, but you kind of just got to really relax. And this is the thing with the core all the time, is trying to find a place that's really relaxing. Um, for you, because as soon as you tense up any of your hand, it kind of slows it right down. And you don't get that kind of perfect sound. So, and also the other thing is keeping the thumb straight. See how I'm not bending. You kind of. So it's similar to the finger one. So you're just coming off, coming back on. That's it for this video. Um, so this is the first one I've done like this, so it's just kind of a tester really to see. If you guys have any questions or would like me to make a video about anything else, let me know. I'm going to try and link um, like a file with information on like how to tune and things like that. So because so this, this chord is in F, the lower notes in F and some chords have been different tuning, but I'll, I'll make that clear in the link at the bottom of the video. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, just send me a message and I'll um, try and get back to you. Um, yeah, see you soon.